Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to talk about using aspirin on tomato plants. There is a lot of true scientific studies that show that aspirin help your tomato plants and I'll talk about how it does that and why it does that. So the first thing that's important is that it must be aspirin. You want the acetylsalic acid in aspirin to trigger a response in your tomato plants called the SARS response or the systemic acquired um, resistance response. I'll explain that to you in a second. So when you put a tablet of aspirin in water, and again it must be aspirin in water, it dissolves. It breaks down into acetic acid and salicylic acid. It's the salicylic acid that when sprayed on your tomato plant leaves or used as a drench getting to the roots, when that salicylic acid gets into the tomato plant, it mimics a hormone and the plant believes that it's being attacked by a disease or pests so it triggers the SAR response and again that's the systemic acquired resistance response basically you're tricking your tomato into beefing up its defenses for a problem now the problem is is that if you don't use the aspirin the disease comes it covers your plant the insects come covers your plant that response is slow that it's naturally just slow so by using the aspirin, and you're going to do this every 10 to 14 days, that's what I now recommend. By using the aspirin, you trigger that response and you have this tomato literally beefed up to defend off diseases and pests. It doesn't stop them from showing up, it just makes the plant stronger. And you're going to notice that the leaves of your tomato plant will get kind of a darker green, maybe a little thicker, kind of leathery, and that means that response is going. So I use a sprayer you're going to want to use one tablet per gallon of water. If you're going to do a drench into the soil, I would use two tablets per gallon of water. And you're going to do this every 10 to 14 days. You want the 325 milligram um, aspirin tablets. You don't want them to be coated. They should dissolve and break down and look like this in like one minute. So these are not coated. It's just plain aspirin. You put them in water, it dissolves. I like to kind of just do it you know, in, in something like this so that you know that it's dissolved and then pour it right into your sprayer. This will last, you know, I don't know technically how long it would last, I can't tell you that, but it's good for a couple of weeks. So you can make your mix a gallon worth and then spray. If you want to change it out, that's fine. I mean, aspirins aren't that expensive um, and that might be good practice too, but the salicylic acid should stay in its form right in here. So it's well mixed. That's, this is actually what you saw was two tablets per gallon. You don't need to overdo it. There's no reason to use two tablets if you're just doing a foliar spray. Just make sure your sprayer's on a fine mist and you are just soaking the leaves in. You can do this anytime really, but if you want to do it in the morning or the evening, that's best. And you just go through and soak the entire plant with your aspirin spray. I do recommend doing this every 10 to 14 days now, and you're gonna see the response happen in your tomato plant. You will definitely notice darker leaves and thicker leaves. Now there's also some kind of chatter saying this helps with the overall production of tomatoes, that you get more tomatoes. I can't confirm that, but I can 100% confirm, and I do this every year, that it really helps strengthen your tomato by triggering that SAR response. So let's walk around. I'll show you some of the size of the tomato plants and talk about when you would start the spraying. This is the plant that I was just working on. And you want to really start spraying a couple weeks before diseases and pests show up in your garden. And for me, today is the first week of June. The problems really start rolling in about now, later June, early July, when the humidity starts coming in. So this plant is a little bit big, but Timing wise, it's okay because my problems aren't showing up. But now I've hit this with the aspirin spray, that response is gonna be triggered. Generally speaking, you can start spraying, usually when your plants are about that tall, you know, 18 inches to 24 inches, and you can just soak them down. If you wanna do a soil drench, you can put one to two tablets in a, a watering can, mix the water through, and then you just soak the earth around the plant for three or four seconds. That will get the salicylic acid from the aspirin into the soil and the roots will pick it up. Some people like to bury 
an aspirin at planting, you could do that. I just found that I can kind of just wait until, you know, beginning of June in my area. Or if you don't want to, if you're not sure, just start when they're about that size and you just soak the plants. The cherry tomato here, a little bit big, but that's all right. Just really soak the leaves. And I want to show you, you know, a couple examples of the spraying. You can get the undersides. It really doesn't matter as long as you're contacting all the leaves and stems. And that one's well soaked. Let's go over to my most recent planted beds. So this part of my garden has the most recently transplanted tomatoes in there. They're, you know, not even 18 inches tall. You can see damage. Those are from flea beetles on there. They've been taken care of. You can go ahead and start spraying them now. There's really not a starting point. Like you don't have to wait if you don't want to. You know, some people say, you know, wait two weeks, wait two weeks after planting. It really doesn't matter. It's really important that you stay consistent with the spraying. And that's why I'm recommending every 10 to 14 days. This does not work on other plants. There might be evidence that it helps potatoes, uh, maybe eggplant, um, but I wouldn't go spraying those quite yet, you know, or test it out. But tomatoes, this definitely works. And then I would just work my way down. I have um, a bunch of tomatoes down this row couple of things. People ask me, well, if I spray my plants with aspirin, is it still an organic garden? And, and I mean this nicely. If you feel like you have to ask if it's organic, you're not quite understanding what organic gardening is. Organic gardening, in short, is really you understanding what you're putting in there. It's not looking for labels stamped on products saying that they're organic or not organic, but it's using stuff that aren't harsh chemicals. It's knowing what you put on the plant. If you personally feel, for some reason, that a couple tablets of aspirin makes your garden non-organic, what does that mean? Does it mean it's going to hurt you? Does it mean you kind of lose a prize for being 100% organic? It's just aspirin, so you want to use it that way. If you're allergic to aspirin, people ask me if I can use it in my garden, and I don't know the answer to that. I don't know how bad your allergy is, but you have to make a decision. You know, if you're really badly allergic to aspirin, I wouldn't spray it in your garden because you don't want the drift coming. You know, overall, I don't think you're going to have a buildup of aspirin in tomatoes that's going to harm you. But again, I don't know. You have to make that decision yourself. So the aspirin spray, again, one tablet, 325 milligrams in a gallon of water or, you know, I think that's about four liters or two tablets in a sprinkling can, watering can, to do a soil drench. Just do this every 10 to 14 days and you're gonna trigger that SAR response and you're gonna notice that you have healthier and you have stronger tomato plants over the season. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and check out the Amazon link in my description. I have a shop there. I will link sprayers and aspirin to my Amazon shop and you can find what you need there. Again, thanks for watching.